हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू अ न्यू वीडियो ऑन सेल्फ प्लेजरिज्म विच ऑल्सो मीन्स कैन आई कॉपी पेस्ट माई ओन स्टफ इन माई रिसर्च पेपर दिस इज ऑफन अ क्वेश्चन एनकाउंटेड बाई पीपल हु हैव पब्लिश देयर ओन वर्क और हु हैव रिटन अ प्रिलिमिनरी रिपोर्ट ऑन देयर रिसर्च वेन दे स्टार्ट यूजली वेन वन डिजाइन एंड एक्सपेरिमेंट्स दे हैव दे बेस or the, all the rest of the experiments on this same format so when they write it in a particular document they it is assumed that because they have written they can just use it directly so there it comes in two different ways are you copying from your own previous work in the new manuscript or are you copying from the same manuscript in different sections so let's go to the first point the first point is when you copy from your own previous work so if you have written a preliminary report for internal purposes and you want to uh, copy it uh, use material from that work now if it is an internal report and if you if you have copied entire sentences directly then it may not reflect direct if it reflect Uh, online because the internal report is for your own purpose however if you have used this uh, data in a publication which is available the uh, new research will be checked for plagiarism and your work itself can show up as the plagiarized document so even if it is your own work the software doesn't know that so it means that it will flag your new work and you may have to give an explanation for it hence usually it a small modification in the sentence construction will ease the way if this is not possible at least you should provide a reference of your previous work to, to say that the details of the this work are given in say uh, number 3 reference or this the experimental details of this work are similar to the number 3 reference so even if it uh, it gets flagged the reviewer will know that it is your own work and so it will not be a problem if uh, the uh, the next point is a noticeable difference between language as you start your research you uh, tend to write in a certain manner as you gain more and more experience your language gets refined and the next uh, second third fourth publication will be vastly different in the way in which you write the papers hence if you copy something directly from your first publication the difference in these language two, two ways of writing will be clearly visible and that may also be flagged for us we may think that uh, there should be no issue what is the problem um nobody will notice but that's not the case the reviewers review loads and loads of paper every day and they know exactly when the language changes from one paragraph to other so we have to take care when you are trying to use material from your own work it's not bad because after all you are going doing the same kind of experiment so it's natural that your uh, 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 say knowledge gap or your experimental details will not change but it is bit but at least you should uh, change a little change them such that they are applicable in the current work the next point is when you are writing a manuscript so when i reviewed a few manuscripts i used to see that the author will write three sentences in the abstract then they he will write the three same three sentences in uh, main text in introduction conclusions observations everywhere there will be the three three same same three sentences this these are very easy to detect because it we uh, uh, you you keep on reading the same thing again and again and it also shows that the author does not know what the difference is between abstract introduction conclusions observations sometimes observations are directly written as conclusions they are not the same there's a reason why observations and conclusions are two different sections hence it is necessary to know what the difference is and try to modify the sentences or at least at Uh, understand what is to be written in each of them from the three sentences 
it also indicates that the author, the author is too lazy to use different sentence structures it is possible to do that if you cannot really uh, change what you want to write you have to mention it if it is a case that you have to mention it in abstract and conclusions you should at least use different sentence structures it reflects very badly on the author and the reviewer will, will think that they are too lazy to use different sentence structures so this should be this is especially important because if it is a previous work the reviewer will not notice it unless it is tested for plagiarism but if it is in same manuscript it will be immediately known so that may lead to rejection of the manuscript as well from some reviewers hence it is very uh, important to keep these in mind so this uh, there is a free template on my blog all about corrosion dot blogspot where you can find a research checklist template you can download this or you can contact me for the desktop excel mod excel uh, format there there are a few sections where you can uh, check your manuscript against those sections and put in some small notes or put in whichever section you have completed and you need to complete the uh the, the template the blog is given in the description for this video thank you for going through this video please get in touch with me for more information and head on to crossfit.com for online courses see you in the next video